Today, I'm going to talk about how our e-commerce business utilizes custom labels within Google Shopping. I'm Stephanie Parks of The Media Captain, and today we're going to get, in ev- get into everything that you need to know about custom labels within Google Ads and for specifically your shopping campaigns. So what are custom labels? Think of these like tags for your products. You can set these up to help you keep all of your products organized if you're only wanting to promote certain products or you wanna spend more of a budget on certain products. Custom labels are such a great way to do this. How do you get these set up? These will be set up in your Merchant Center account. So custom labels are utilized for Google Shopping only. A lot of things that have to do with your Google Shopping will run through your Merchant Center. I'm not gonna go through the step-by-step in this video of how to get your custom labels set up, but if you need help with that, if you want us to do that for you, contact us at themediacaptain.com. We can help you with that. When you're creating custom labels, you can create five of these. So think of any way that you might wanna tag your products. So you can tag your products by price. You can tag your products by seasonality, by profit margins, by what you offer as your best sellers. Um, These are all different ways to categorize your products so that you can run ads only promoting certain products at a time. For example, let's say you have um, a lot of seasonality with your products. Let's say you sell clothing and there's some clothing for winter and there's some clothing for summer. If you can tag all of your products with your custom label for your winter clothes versus your summer clothes, you can actually really easily turn off all of your winter clothes in the summer and turn off all of your summer clothes in the winter. For Derm Warehouse, we use price primarily as our custom label. And I'm gonna get into showing you exactly what we do. So you can see here, this is our Google Ads account, and you can see that we have two shopping campaigns separated separated by price. We have a $51 to $100 shopping campaign, and we have a $100 or $101 plus shopping campaign. We sort these by price because the The higher the price of our product, the more money we make. We actually, you'll see here that we don't have any campaigns running for products under $50. The reason for this is because when it comes to products under $50, when you take our margins into account, when you take shipping into account, we're just not that profitable. So we're not even spending money on ads for these products. We have in the past, some of our top sellers are products under $50, but we've decided that right now, we only wanna focus on our most profitable products, which are the products with the highest cost. So let's go into our um, our 51 to $100 campaign. You can see here that I have all of the products set up that are 51 to $100. Everything else, I went the wrong way here. Everything else over here, I've set as excluded. So this is sorted by products that are this price range. Nothing else is included in here. The way that you would get this to pull in is if you go hover over the all products and click edit, you can see Down here, you have your custom labels. You can use up to five custom labels, as I mentioned. So our custom label zero is price. So you can see our 51 to $100 group has 671 products, and that is what we're promoting within this campaign. You can see when I came in here, There are some other different variables that you can sort by, such as category, brand, item ID, condition, product type, et cetera. These are product groups. These are not custom labels. So these are automatically set by Google. The difference between custom labels is that these, just like the, just like the name says, these are much more customizable. So you can have all of your different custom labels for whatever you want, um, plus the product groups in here. Custom labels have been extremely beneficial for our business and utilizing these to keep our products organized and make sure we're not spending money on products that really just don't make sense to spend money on for our business. It's a really good way to sort through your Google Shopping campaign to optimize the campaign and make sure you're getting the most out of your money. I'm Stephanie Parks of The Media Captain, and this was a video on custom labels. 
If you have any questions, if you need help setting up your custom labels, please feel free to reach out to us at themediacaptain.com and make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for tons of digital marketing videos.